So today we're going to be doing an injector install on a 2018 RS3. This is going to be for the Unitronic 850cc injectors or the IROS 850cc injectors. Um, what kind of tools do you need for this? Screwdriver, clamp, pliers, T30, and I use this little hook too. Okay. And a ratchet. So it's not very hard. So I loosen this up. Just makes it a little easier. I like to get this out of the way too. Um, just pull that. Oh, you can just pull this. Oh, you don't have a clamp on it? Nope. Okay. Just fold it about the way. That's what I typically do. Those, those usually have a clamp on it. Yeah, I ain't worried about that. I think it's the same as the... The hardest part to get to for doing this is going to be this hose right here in that clamp. It's two T30s, hold it in. One right here on the low pressure fuel rail. We have one right there. If you don't have hose clamp pliers, another thing that you can use are needle nose pliers. Um, it's a pain um, if you have to use needle nose, so. Watch out for the fuel spray. Yep. That's all. Cool. So now you're just gonna pry up. There's going to be a lot of pressure because it's going to be O-rings holding it in. Um, and this is the low side for the port injection system. Still good. So once you have it out, what you're going to do is on the fuel rail itself, you have your five injectors. You're just going to undo these clips, and both Unitronic and IROS provide a plug and play system, so you're just going to swap those over really quick. So sometimes it's easier to remove the engine. Yep. That's the retaining clip right there. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of fuel on the rail, so just do this uh, somewhere that you're not worried about that.
the o ring for. Yeah. Oh. And they're freaking having a parade up there. Yeah. So as you can see, sometimes the rings get stuck, so just um, make sure to get it out. The new injectors come with new O-rings and stuff, so you're not going to have to reuse the old stuff. You should always loop stuff. So you lube in the O-rings? Yep. Okay. What kind of lube do you like to use? This is just electrical insulating compound. Okay. It's DC4, dial chromium 4 or something. What's yeah. going on with Romstar? So you just get a little bit in there. Rub it around. Maybe it's nice and happy. So for these injectors, we went ahead and put the plug and play pigtails on. So it takes from the factory harness and converts it over for the new injectors. We use this stuff because the gas cleans it up so if you get any it doesn't matter. It's nice to try to knock it in there, but if you do, you can go through it. It's all good. E85 eats away at pretty much everything. What's up? That was fitting, that one didn't click. Oh, the second one. So now we're just going to put the retaining clips back in. Yeah, I did this in my bathroom sink, swapping the stock ones back in. <laughs> Stupid smog. So now we're lubing the O-rings that go into the plenum, right? The no. runners. Yeah, the runners. Right system, wrong part. <laughs> You should always loop any O-ring. Yeah, I was typical. I was just using the fuel. <laughs> That's what I had. <laughs> She's ready. All right, cool. Now we're just gonna go reinstall it.
we're reinstalling your just lining back up all the the port injectors back into the port and you're trying to line up that hose the fuel line so that it slides back on whenever you go to push it down Now we're just going to put the T30s back on, make sure that we put that line back on all the way, and just rehook up the connectors. Torque to spec. Yeah. Good and tight. <laughs> Good and tight. And then the bottom one. Yeah. Dumb. Imagine having to do it with like regular needle nose pliers. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit more. That looks good. And just loosen that up to make it a little bit easier to get that um, fuel rail out. Yeah, that's just two two thirties. Done. Cool. There you have it. Now, if you're on Unitronic, um, you're probably on stage one before this, and you're swapping your injectors to go stage two eighty five. So now I'm just gonna swap back over my tune. And that'll be it. Cool. See you guys next time.